So today we have a very important question, not just for your clinic in general, but also studying for this exam. Let's say you see the image to the right and ask what device is seen inside the patient on the scan? What is the different types of interference? What rec recommendation should you follow? What is the difference between an ICD and a pacemaker? What doses can each do? How does proton dose affect this? So based kind of on the questions, you can guess that I'm getting at this is a pacemaker, but be absolutely sure you can tell what a pacemaker looks like and determine it on a CT scan. One thing that really helps is that in almost all cases, pacemakers are always on the left side and chemo ports are on the right side. Sometimes chemo ports are, they do kind of show up like pacemakers. So it can potentially be hard to find and distinguish between the two because chemo ports are also obviously close to the surface. So ensure that you're able to pick between the two. If it's on the left side, especially based on the questions that you can read ahead of time, you can kind of pick out that, okay, this is a pacemaker. So now what are the different types of interference? So there is a transient interference that can occur if inside the beam, and that means the pace may be off. There's also permanent interference where it just straight up fails, and that is above 10 gray. So the kind of importance is that the pacemaker, if you didn't know, if a heartbeat skips, then the pacemaker discharges the stored energy and helps the, the heart kind of keep steady and keep that pace. Something, recommendations you should follow. First thing I've mentioned in other videos, first thing you want to mention is any task group associated with the question. TG34 is the big boy on this one. So ensure you recommend a TG34. You also want to ensure that you don't use MRI. Obviously, this is metal, so that's a recommendation you should follow. You want to consider cumulative dose. You also uh, never, so I'll just put, you never want to use a direct beam. So never use direct beams. You want to estimate the doses. You want it to be less than two gray, the pacemaker, the dose to it less than two gray. If it is greater, you can test before and after the treatment. The beams below, first of all, you want beams below 10 MV, and that's because of neutron production. You also want to avoid any type of wedges. So those are the recommendations that are ideal for you to follow. Follow TG34 as well. So now, what is the difference between an ICD and a pacemaker? So as I kind of mentioned, pacemakers use that electrical pulse to prompt the heart to beat correctly and consistently. A implantable con uh, cardioverb defibrillator treats the tachycardia and resets the heart via an electric shock. So that is, ICD is much more violent it's internal, uh, and TG34 also kind of discusses it, but it's, it's important to know both of these, and especially in your clinic, you may need to look in EPIC or their individual charts to determine, okay, is that an ICD or a pacemaker? So what doses can each one do? So as I've kind of already mentioned, pacemaker, you want less than two gray, and an ICD, you actually want less than one gray. So we have a smaller tolerance for the ICD and you don't want any cumulative dose over five gray. So a cumulative dose must be less than five gray for both. So the protons, how does that affect these uh, pacemakers? So you don't want any dose rate greater than 800 centigrade per minute because that will cause 70% failures. Neutrons cause devastating damage and protons are dangerous because of the recoil neutrons. So something you have to be very careful about. One final question that actually I didn't add, but would be very good is what does your 
specific clinic do? So it's important to know what you do in your clinic. That may very well be a question that they ask. So for example, my clinic, we look at vendor specifications. We estimate the dose with Eclipse, regardless of how far the field is. You may be treating a right breast. You may be treating abdomen. If there's a pacemaker, we're still going to estimate it. You want to record that in ARIA or whatever your record and verify system is. Make journal notes, tell the nurses, follow those recommendations, avoid 10MV, don't have direct beams. Also, if you have in vivo dosimetry like diodes or MOSFETs, use those. Even if, again, you're not treating anywhere close to the pacemaker, to be able to use that in vivo dosimetry and prove that, okay, this is not getting any dose that is ideal. So definitely no pacemakers, no ICDs, know the recommendations. This is a very important question and topic for both your career and for this part three oral exam. If you have any further questions, please comment below. Thanks a lot.